In this video, I'll be showing you how to customize your RMX 1000 by using Remixbox software. Remixbox allows you to change the standard effect settings, parameters, and timings. Not only that, but you can also change the standard samples, meaning you can use sounds of your own choice. Having the capability to change the sounds and the effect timings means you can customize the RMX to suit your style of mixing and your set. Start by installing Remixbox on your computer. This can be found either on the CD included or online at pioneerdj.com forward slash support. Go to the RMX 1000, click on Software Download, and then choose either Windows or Mac depending on your system. Open the installation file and follow the instructions. Open up Remixbox and you'll see the interface is exactly the same as the RMX 1000. Across the top, you'll find the utility settings and import and export controls. You'll also see the effects browser as well as load and save options. Like the RMX 1000, Remixbox is split into sections. The X-Pad, the Isolate effects, the Scene effects, and the Release effects. Parameters can be changed on any of these sections. Clicking on any of these sections brings up the menu for customizing each effect within that section. With the Isolate effects, you can choose the effect and then choose the parameter to adjust. Click on each effect and you can adjust each parameter for each control on the RMX. You can also set the FX lock on both Scene effects and Isolate effects. With the FX lock on, you'll have to hold down an effect button for one second to activate it. This avoids accidentally putting an unwanted effect on. For the release effects, you can change the timing at each of the three stages on the release effects lever. You can also choose if the effect will deactivate the X-pad, the Isolate or the Scene effects. This means when pulling the release effects lever, this will deactivate any effect you've got running. This means you can use the release effects, but keep the sound coming from the X-pad after the lever has been activated. Also on the Echo, you can adjust the feedback style. The X-pad has several areas that can also be customised. You can change the roll type between Roll, Slip Roll and Divide Roll. The roll will sample the incoming sound over the beat timing you are activating on the X-pad and essentially loop it. As you move your finger along the pad, changing the timing, the loop will change, but it will always be looping the same original sound. Slip roll will do exactly the same, except every time you change the beat timing, it will sample a new sound. Divide roll samples a sound like the other two roll types, but it changes the sample loop depending on the current timing selected. The standard drum sounds can be changed. You can change the volume, envelope and decay timing separately. The pitch controls range can be adjusted and the X-pad strip timings can be changed by dragging in any of the timing blocks onto one of the five X-pad blocks. Finally the sampler. Here you can load in samples of your own. Slots 1 to 4 are displayed in columns along the top and each row represents a different bank. You can load up to 4 sounds per bank and you have 4 banks to use. The sounds you load have to be 16-bit at 48kHz. If you are unsure of the quality of the sound you're using, load the samples into Rekordbox, or find a tracking record box that you want to sample from. Create a loop around the point you like, right-click and then click Export Loop as WAV. Choose where to save it and then it's done. This also places a new file in your Rekordbox library. To import the sample into Remixbox, drag and drop the sample into the slot you want. You can have a maximum sampling time of 16 seconds across each bank. This could be 4 samples each lasting 4 seconds, or 1 sample of 10 seconds and 3 samples of 2. As well as loading the samples in, you can alter individual sample settings. Double click on the sample and this will bring up the sample property window. Here you can set the sample as either a loop or a one shot. If setting a sample as a loop, you can adjust the BPM. Adjusting the BPM changes the speed it will loop at. So if you sample a kick and set the BPM to 130, the kick will loop in time when using 130 BPM music. If you change it to 175 for example, then the sample will loop at 175 BPM. If your sample is set to loop at 175 BPM, and then you're playing at a slower BPM, the sample will be time stretched to match that current BPM. This means the pitch of the sample will change, just like pitching on a CDJ for example. Using the adjustable bar here, you can change the start and end points of the sample. Slightly shorten the length by adjusting the end bar. You can either drag the time bar, use the plus and minus buttons, or simply enter the exact time here. 
Pioneer now offer a range of samples that can be downloaded for free from pioneerdj.com. Click on the RMX1000 and then click Sample Download. Enter your serial number and then answer a quick questionnaire and then you can download the sample packs. Once you've customised your settings and loaded in your own samples, you'll then need to get them onto the RMX. This can be done in a range of ways. The easiest is by using an SD card. Connect the RMX1000 to your computer and then plug an SD card into it. Your computer will then recognise it as a device. Click Export and then choose your destination. You can choose to export either effect parameter data or sampler data, or both. Once this has finished exporting, set the RMX to user and it's ready to go. To load the different sample banks, hold down the bank button and then choose 1, 2, 3 or 4. The settings you have chosen can also be saved. Click save and then choose your destination. This will save the settings file and all of the samples. A settings file can also be imported. Choose a device and set which data you'd like to be imported. Once imported, all of the settings will be set across the RMX so you can customise those further. In the same way as importing, a settings file can also be loaded. Hit load and locate the settings file. Again, the settings will be placed across the digital interface. Remixbox also has a sync feature. Just connect your RMX with a USB cable and the sync button will become visible. Set your RMX1000 to user mode and then once activated, any changes you make in the software will be applied to the device. This is a great way to test out different settings before playing out live. Or if you use your laptop in a club, you could change the settings parameters on the fly. If you disconnect the cable while in user mode, the settings will stay on the RMX1000 even without an SD card in the device. Custom samples will not work with the sync feature or when the USB cable is connected, so only effects customization will work in this mode. Remixbox is the perfect tool for adding your own touch to the effects you use in your set. Having the ability to change the standard settings means you can make the RMX suit you and your performance.